Suppose we want to compare the retention rates of two colleges. We have this first college, we'll call it Red College, that admits 1,253 freshmen, and by the end of the year, 1,065 remain. That means that Red College has a retention rate of 0.85, or 85%. Meanwhile, Blue College admits 878 freshmen, and by the end of the year, 725 remain. This gives Blue College a retention rate of 82.6%, or 0.826. It appears that Red College has a better retention rate than Blue College. What we want to know is whether this difference that we've observed is due to a true difference in their retention rates, or whether it's simply due to random chance. So we can construct a hypothesis test. Our null hypothesis is that the retention rate for red equals the retention rate for blue. The alternative hypothesis is that the retention rates are not equal. So from our observed samples, we construct a test statistic. The test statistic is the observed difference minus the hypothesized difference divided by the standard error of the difference. In this case, the observed difference is the difference in the two retention rates, or 0.024. We're hypothesizing that the two retention rates are the same, so our hypothesized difference is zero. We're looking at a difference in proportions. The standard error of a difference in proportions is the square root of the first sample proportion times one minus the first sample proportion divided by the number of observations in the first sample, plus the second sample proportion times one minus the second sample proportion divided by the number of observations in the second sample. In this case, the standard error of the difference in proportions is 0 0.016. So using this information, we can now construct our test statistic 0 0.024 minus 0 divided by 0 0.016 or 1.5. So we now turn to a picture of all possible differences in sample proportions. We're hypothesizing that the difference in sample proportions is zero. What we actually observed was a difference of 0 0.024. Our alternative hypothesis is that the two proportions are not equal. Therefore, we're concerned with knowing the area from 0 0.024 up to the right, and a similar area on the left. And we can find that these two areas are each 6.7%. So the p-value for our hypothesis test is the 6.7% area multiplied by 2, or 13.4%. So do we have evidence to reject the null hypothesis? If our p-value is between 0 and 0 0.01, we say that we have very strong evidence to reject the null hypothesis. If our p-value is between 0 0.01 and 0 0.05, we we say that we have strong evidence to reject the null hypothesis. And if our p-value is between 0 0.05 and 0 0.10, we say that we have weak evidence for rejecting the null hypothesis. In this case, our p-value is 0.134, meaning that we don't have any evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, we conclude that there's no reason to believe that the retention rates at the two colleges are different. To find the p-value, we use the norm.s.dist function. We use this because differences in sample proportions are standard normally distributed. Norm.s.dist takes two arguments. The first is the test statistic, in this case 1.50, the second is the word true. The function returns the area to the left of the test statistic, or 93.3%. What we care about in this case is the area to the right of the test statistic, or 100% minus 93.3%, or 6.7%. Since the alternative hypothesis is does not equal, we multiply this area by 2 to get 13.4%.